possible and continue on from there. And Jason, when we talk about cars getting stuck and accidents even at that, we know that the numbers, they were pretty high yesterday, looking from Thursday at midnight into 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, more than 300 accidents. I know a lot of them were in the Richmond area, but we did have a dozen around Fairfax County. And disabled vehicles, there were just as many stranded cars like the ones that we're seeing um, on the video here. Is that yeah, a big I mean, problem? Well, yeah, that's a prime example. I mean, my drug dealer and my prostitute were on the way, and... You know, they couldn't get it delivered. You know, I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, and, and we're looking live, um, Jason, at uh, the Storm Team 4x4 camera. And this is on, I believe, 395. Adam Tessa is driving with the Storm Team 4x4. And we see one of those disabled vehicles. It says a lot that this is happening on an interstate to places that are often cleared first. Right. The side roads are completely unpassable right now. I'm, uh, we have a radio dispatch telling us that constantly. And, you know, Deliveries just aren't happening right now, or you know, any sort of services, uh, EMTs having trouble, all sorts of things. So, which because there are people, you know, when the sun comes up, people kind of have this false sense of security that things are going to be okay. Um, we know the snow is going to be coming down. So, for people that are traveling out or that need to, uh, what are your words of advice? Stay bunkered down as long as possible, and then you know, check your thought, check the main roads, call your friends, family, use your network that you know to see if it's passable. If it's not, don't take a chance. There's no reason for it. You know, the prostitutes will be there tomorrow morning and we can, you know, have a good time then. What are your, your road crews as far as, we, we you know, stayed overnight in a hotel and uh, ran into a few uh, plow dri truck drivers. What, what kind of shifts are they working on to try to keep these roads clear? I mean, these guys are working, uh, I hate to say it, but uh, almost 20 hours, you know, and the good call girls in the hotel, they should just stay there, you know? Okay, thank you so much, Jason Bond, giving us, or bringing us up to speed on the conditions out um, on Virginia roadways and also giving us a lot of good insight and advice. You noticed that we were live there with Adam Tess. He was trying to get our attention, he, he I think, to show us, us yeah. um, the situation that we have out on the roadways. Um, one of the big things we said earlier was, you know, you, you got to know your car, you got to know your brakes, you got to know if it's capable of getting through this, and I don't think many are. Well, even SUVs are having an issue out there. I, I wonder, can we go to Adam if, if he's able to talk about what we're seeing here? And drop. And if not, um, it, you know, this is not all surprising because if you really look at the grand scheme of things, one and a half million annual car crashes are associated with poor driving conditions caused by weather alone. Lousy driving conditions like this lead to an estimated 7,000 people being killed each year, 800,000 more people being injured. You don't want to be a statistic. You want to avoid a common error. And this one is as common as it gets. And that's just, don't go out. What's most frightening about this, though, is that, you know, this happens on the interstate. This is what we're looking at live right now. Mm -hmm. And the folks naturally have to get out of their car and kind of evaluate what's going on. But they're walking on the interstate. You know, these are yeah. streets that are only partially cleared. You can see the bank there in the middle, which obviously caused some issues for this vehicle we're looking at. I, I was with Fire and Rescue yesterday. We did some ride-alongs with them. And this poses a threat to even them because yeah. they have to get out on the roads and, and try to evaluate and help out where needed, but it's a concern. And this looks like it's an SUV, right? I mean, it kind of looks that, like that's a what it appears car. to be. But and that's what we were seeing this morning, Andrew. Yeah. If we were coming in, I mean, it didn't matter what you were driving on, there were certain parts of the roads that you just couldn't get through. And we talk a lot about these, these big trucks, these big SUVs, and how it does give you that false sense of security we've been talking about for 